step forward. No, no. The others, let me see. Uh, Ray Fratchstraw. Oh, three pages at the front. March. Yeah. What? I beg your pardon. I don't think I understand you. If you please. Oh, yes, of course. <clears throat> if you please. You're a remarkable fine seaman. Yes, Your Honour. The first rate seaman I've ever had. There's not a smart and tough man in the Navy, Your Honour. The wise as it should. Not at all. Proper self respect, nothing more. Have you dance all, Pipe? No, Your Honour. That's a pity. All sailors should dance all, Pipe. I will teach you one this evening after dinner. I tell them, don't be afraid. How does your captain teach you, eh? Better captain, don't walk the deck, Your Honour. <laughs> ah, good. I like to hear you speak well of your commanding officer. I dare say he don't deserve it. But still, it does you credit. Can you sing? I can hum a little, Your Honour. Well, um, hum this at your leisure. It is a song that I have composed for the use of the Royal Navy. It is designed to encourage independence of thought and action among the lower branches of the service and to teach the principle that a British sailor is any man's equal, excepting mine. <laughs> Now, Captain Corcoran, a word with you in your cabin on a tender and sentimental subject. Aye, aye, Sir Joseph. Bosun, in commemoration of this glorious occasion, see that an extra grog is served out to the ship's company at seven birds. They can't if what, uh, Your Honour? <clears throat> if what? I don't think I understand you. If you please. What? <laughs> The gentleman is quite right, if you please. If you please. For I hold that on the seas, the expression, if you please, a particularly gentleman in tone and plots. Oh, uh -huh. 
She 